Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're gonna to talk about 24 credit card size survival tools. And we're gonna talk about which are gimmicks and which are gadgets. Stay tuned to find out. Let's get to it. Most of these items are for survival purposes only. They're not for EDC use. For EDC, I'm using my Leatherman, I'm using my Streamlight flashlight and my Benchmade bug out knife. I'm not relying on this stuff from day to day. The reason why you would want any of these things is because they're lightweight and discreet. Let's say you had a larger bug out bag or a camping pack and you were going out for a hike or going out for a camping trip. These are things that you could keep on your person in case you got separated from your main gear. So they're kind of like a last ditch option. Half of it is junk, half of it is decent, but to be honest, a lot of this stuff, if you don't have the skills to use it, you're pretty much as good as dead out there. So I don't want it to give people a false sense of confidence. So we're just gonna go through these things and talk about which I believe are practical and which are not. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, let's start at this top corner. We have the Star Flash Survival Mirror. Now this is definitely not a gimmick. This is a gadget. This is something that everybody should have in their survival kit. Especially if you're on the other end of a search and rescue situation, this can be a game changer. This can save your life. Having this as a way to signal or communicate with Morse code can be indispensable. It's lightweight and of course it does double as a mirror. So there may be some uh, medical applications and even vanity applications as well. Why not look good when you're out there ready to die? Up next we have the Grim Survival Tools uh, fishing hook card. This is probably one of the least gimmicky cards they have. It may be 304 stainless steel. All I know, it's a really hard stainless steel. So a fish is not getting away from one of these hooks. Absolutely a good gadget. Up next is the sewing card that they sell. So you get some needles on there, a bunch of needles, probably more than you're ever gonna need, and some buttons. So the only thing I would say about this card is that there's probably too much redundancy with it. I think it's a little overkill with regards to how many needles they give you. Now, something like this may have alternate uses, like you could bend one of those into a fishing hook, but I mean, how many sewing needles do you need? Of course, these aren't gonna do you much good if you have no thread. Now you can, take the thread out of one of your articles of clothing, I would say this is halfway between gadget and gimmick. Up next is the cordage card. Now this allows you to make cordage out of any pop bottle. Basically, I've demonstrated this in the past. You, you cut open a plastic bottle and it allows you to quickly make cordage from the bottle. I personally think it's kind of a gimmick, which is why I don't sell it at my store. How many situations are you gonna be in that you're gonna have carried this into, and then you're miraculously gonna stumble across, you know, some two liter bottles that you would need to make cordage with. Me personally, I always have a paracord belt on like 24 seven. I think the likelihood of you being in a situation where you would carry this, cause it's not a lot of weight, but it's enough weight to, that you would feel it on your person. You would have that, but you wouldn't have cordage it just doesn't seem like a, a likely plausible scenario to me. Next up is the tool card. This is a lock pick card, and this absolutely has a lot of utility. Like I said, this is a very hard stainless steel, and these tools are gonna last a long time. In fact, I've complained to the manufacturer who is Grim Survival Tools that the steel that they're using is a little bit too hard. It's hard to sharpen. I'm gonna talk about that when we get to Fowler's Makery and Mischief survival card right here, which is actually a pretty decent one. All right, so up next we have the Lion's Gear survival card. This reminds me of the old Ready Man card. Ready Man was the first ones to come out with this style of card where you have this assortment of little tools that you can break off and use when you need be. Now this one has some interesting innovations. It has some bandage clips. Obviously you would need a bandage, but you could use that with clothing. So that's actually pretty convenient. It's got some tweezers. It has some fish hooks, which look like they're in the shape where they could double as a suture, but that's a pretty thick pin to be stitching through a wound. So I don't know if I would really rely on it for that. It also has a tick remover. It has some serrated blades, which you may be able to use for uh, crafting bows. 
and arrows, but not much else. You're not gonna be sitting there sawing on wood to get firewood for that. Uh, maybe if you're making snares, traps, that sort of thing, it might come in handy. Up next is the Wallet Ninja. Now this one has a lot of good reviews on Amazon. Once again, I just can't see myself carrying something like this. We got obviously the ruler, we got a small flathead screwdriver on there, a can opener. On the back you have a mirror, you have a file, you have a screwdriver on the corner, you have your hex bits, and you also have this cell phone stand. So you would stick that in there like that, just like that. You can see that on there. So that's how your phone would stand up. Very durable, very heavy duty. But once again, I could never see myself carrying it personally. Which is why I'm going to be giving all this stuff away because I just, most of it I'm not going to use except that. Not giving that gold away. Up next is the Lion's Gear fishing card. My personal favorite because it has the spoons on there. You're not only getting your hooks, but you're actually getting something that is going to lure the fish in. So I definitely like this card. I would say that that is a gadget. Now let's head over here. This is the duct tape credit card. All this is, is an old card with duct tape wrapped around it. Can't go wrong with that. Up next is just a credit card size chunk of tin foil. You can do a lot with this. You can make a container. You can use this for signaling. You could make, uh, you could use it for cooking. You can use it to obviously encapsulate some things to, to keep them from getting wet. You could boil water in it. You could do a lot of things. Simple thing to add to your kit, some tin foil. Up next is Grim Workshop's survival cards. Now I actually really like this Remember I was talking the other day when I was reviewing this gold card, how they should give you a little case like this. This is what I liked to would have seen with uh, the gold card, but it's a nice little case and a variety of different uh, survival card tips. So it shows you, you know, which part of a tree you can eat, food preservation. What else do we got here? We got a sun clock. So it shows you how much uh, light is left in the day. Most people know the hand trick, how many hands is an hour for each hand. Wildlife tracking, looking at scat, water preparation, skinning a snake. So you get a lot of information in here and it's very condensed. The cards are also quite thin and they're also waterproof. Excellent, I definitely say that's a gadget. Now up next is Fowler. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Fowler's YouTube channel. And I'm gonna give this one a pass also because I really like this knife. The problem I've always had with Grimm Survival Tool Steel is that it's just too hard to sharpen. They're, they're using uh, a steel, in my opinion, is a little overkill for a survival situation. But I really like this design because it has a taper on the, the blade there so it's actually easier to sharpen and it comes actually a little bit sharp. So you could use this for skinning, making traps, you know, making spears, arrows, whatever. And it looks like there's a tick remover on there too. So I think Fowler is lucky to have put his name on one of their cards that actually have a knife with a taper. Now up next, I think this is a total gimmick. This is the Lion Gear hatchet card. And how it works is this is a pretty sizable chunk of steel. And the idea is that you're gonna tie this with some cordage to a stick and use it like a hatchet. I just can't see it. Maybe if it's all you had and you were on like a, in a castaway type situation, you could probably find a way to make it work for you to do something. I don't know. It looks like it's got some kind of gut hook or seat belt cutter on there. It's got this uh, serrated part on the back here with saw teeth, which I also think is kind of BS. I don't think you're going to be using that for much. Has a hex wrench there and this, arrowhead is way too heavy especially if you're using with a primitive bow because the, the speed and power you're going to achieve with a primitive bow which i'm assuming you're going to be using this with this is really only compatible with a makeshift arrow shaft where you have two halves going over it and then you wrap it in cordage it's just way too heavy so i'm gonna i'm not giving the lion's gear a pass that one is an absolute gimmick i, I would certainly not recommend this Maybe you guys disagree, let me know. Up next is the tweezer card by Grim Survival Tools. This comes with a few sets of tweezers, some serrated blades, which in my opinion, they're not gonna work that well. There's also some coarse file on there as well. I'm gonna call this one a gimmick, and that's part of the reason why I don't sell it. I think that 
the infrequency of use of something like tweezers would warrant that maybe it was integrated into one of these other card sets, but I don't think it's really necessary as a standalone card. All right, so up next is the gold, the gold combi bar. This is a credit card size, 50 gram gold credit card, and you can break off little pieces into one gram increments. Each gram is worth about 50 bucks USD based on current prices. Some people think it has no survival utility. Some people think it has a lot. Whether you think it does or not, doesn't discount the fact that it's worth a lot of money. Something like this may be of utility in times of economic crisis. If you find yourself in a bug out situation and you need a ride or you need some gasoline or you need some food, you just need to get home. You never know, right? It could come in handy. Up next are these learn and live survival cards. Uh, all very useful, especially the not card, I would say is very good. Lots of good tips, really nice illustrations, laminated cards, which are waterproof. So I would actually recommend these. We sell a lot of these UST card sets. These are made by Ultimate Survival Technology Company. Probably one of their better products in my opinion, but the case that they come in always breaks. So, which doesn't really matter because like I say, they're waterproof and they're built pretty tough. Now up next, this is kind of interesting. This is the Brunton Lost Hiker Kit. Basically this is strictly for if you're lost in the wilderness and you're signaling for help. So what you get in here, you get your signal mirror, gives you instructions on the back how to use it. You also get your Fresno lens, so that's for making fires, concentrating sunlight. You also get this compass card. This is pretty cool. Basically, you cut out this disc compass of this piece of paper, and you get some water, you put it in your hand, and this will basically tell you which way north is. I would say that this definitely gets a pass because you have your signaling, you have your fire, and you have your navigation, all in a very slim form factor. All right, so we're starting to get to the interesting stuff now. So up next is the SOG Sync Belt Buckle Multi-Tool. So this actually comes with a clip that you clip onto your belt buckle. Personally, I can't see myself ever doing that. It has a rare form factor to it, which you don't see too often. And basically you just get your pliers there. There's no spring action to it, but it would work good as a pair of pliers. You got your wire cutter. Obviously you have your ruler. It's not the easiest to get these tools out of here. This screwdriver doesn't lock, but this does lock. So if you wanna unlock it, you gotta open this up. It's definitely a dance. This is kind of one of those things you're using in a last ditch situation, and then you can close it. There is also a blade on there as well. I can get that out. So you got a blade, nice sharp little blade. Doesn't seem that sturdy. It looks like I just have to tighten it up a little bit, but still not too impressed with that. We got a file, we got a flat head. We got a can opener. I think what you're mainly gonna be using this for is the pliers, to be honest. So SOG SYNC, uh, somewhere in between gimmick and gadget, but I'm leaning towards gimmick. Up next is the Swiss multi-tool, Swiss card. This one I actually like. So you got your magnifying glass on there. You have your uh, tweezers in there. You have your pen, which actually works. And I had a pen on my Swiss champ work for a long time. And I, it probably still works to this day, even though I don't use the Swiss Champ card anymore. You have a little quarter tang knife on there, which you're not gonna be using for anything too serious. You also have some scissors in there, which come in handy. They're not very big though, so I don't know what you're really gonna use that for. You have your screwdrivers in there, and then you also get this little light. Not sure if you can see that on the camera there. It's not very bright. so. Uh, I'm leaning towards gimmick, but because it's such a well-made thing and you know, this would be something for a woman to keep in her purse, something like that. So I'm going to give it a pass. Let's call it a gadget. Up next is the ultimate survival technologies survival card dealio. It's got one of these dime a dozen multi-tools on it where it looks like there's a bottle opener, a can opener actually has a pretty sharp edge to it. And you know, you might be able to do something with this. It's a magnifying glass on there and you have a compass as well. I don't really think it's necessary for this thing to have a case unless you're worried about corrosion, but it is stainless steel, so that shouldn't be an issue. Up next, we have the CKRT eating tool. Not really a credit card size, but almost. So that's why I put it on here. And uh, I actually could see this, you know, being quite useful. Not so much for the multi-tool aspects, but just as a spoon. 
I think it's it makes sense. So I could see myself definitely using this. The only thing is if you have a deeper dish or a bowl or a container that you're trying to dip into, might not work too well. And it's also pretty heavy for what it is, but they made it that heavy because they're also trying to use it as a hex driver. So they should have just made it a spoon and left it at that but they wanted to add more, so now it's way too thick. Up next, we have Fresnel lenses. You can get these for probably a buck on Amazon. You'll always have a way to have fire if you have a Fresnel lens. Probably one of the most underrated fire starting tools is a Fresnel lens. Now up next is just these diamond card sharpeners. These ones are neat because there's a finger loop in the bottom, so you can hold it like that, and you can just sharpen your knife like that. These come in a kit. I believe there's coarse, fine, and extra fine grit. So these diamond-shaped credit card tools, definitely an excellent gadget. Up next is the Conflicted Card Game series. So they have about 10 different decks. Some of them have survival skills and useful tips. Other ones are just uh, getting you to brainstorm what you would do in certain scenarios. I'm gonna be doing a whole series on this card game. I've already started that series. I've done win video. I'll post a link up here. Other things in this form factor, but are kind of bigger that didn't quite make the list. Zippo hand warmer, just a mirror, which also would act as a signaling device. A right in the rain notepad. This is one of the smallest ones they have. And I carry these on me all the time. Just a Titan survival blanket. Can't go wrong with the SAS survival guide. Small, thick, but chock full of information. Waterproof wallet. You can get these from a variety of different places. So if you had tools, you could put them in here or you could put your identification, put your money in there. These are extreme post-it notes. Sticks in tough conditions. So they have Durahold paper and adhesive, water resistant. So these are something that you might be able to use for signaling or marking if you were you didn't want to get lost and you wanted to mark where you had gone uh, kind of use it in the same way you would use flagging tape if you're going to put post-it notes in your survival kit use extreme ones and last but not least is the firebox wood stove this this is the stainless version there's also a nano version so this folds out and it's in that nice flat form factor that we're going for here this is actually a very very functional stove, easy to use, easy to set up. And you just put your pot on there, put your wood in there and you're ready to go. And it folds back into itself, easy peasy. Now I don't think you necessarily need to get the titanium version because this is so small and lightweight as is that to make it half that weight is not really gonna make a huge difference in your pack. But yeah, I mean, if you're really about the ultralight, go with a titanium version. Overall, I'd have to say that a lot of these things are not necessary for most people. I think the signal mirror, the duct tape, the tin foil, the Fresnel lens, obviously the gold, uh, the information kits are probably some of the best things here, the most useful. And of course, the diamond sharpeners. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com, your one-stop shop for premium, high-quality, brand-name products that have been tried and tested by myself and other YouTube gear reviewers. My subscribers save 10% off by using the coupon code SURVIVALPREPPER, all one word in all caps. Have a Merry Christmas, enjoy the time you have with your family, but stay ready.